Oh, well, my name's um, Martin Dugiamis. Um, from Australia. Uh, I'm the lead developer of Moodle. Uh, I've got a background in um, computer science and education, and uh, Moodle combines those two things, and that's what I work on. I was working at a university helping uh, teachers do online training and uh, when I'm working with them I was having a lot of trouble trying to implement their ideas. They had really good ideas some of them but the tools available were not good enough. And also a lot of them were, um, were uh, not using the internet to its full potential. So I thought I could build some better tools that would make this work and um, I left my job at the university and started doing some studies and um, working for many years to get Moodle started and planted the seed and now the tree has grown since then. The only revolution is that this stuff is happening on the internet because what good, you know, good practice on the internet is really the same things that good teachers do in person, face to face. And the kind of theories that are behind the, you know, what I do go back to uh, Socrates. You know, this is old stuff. So the, the new thing is how do we do that through the internet, you know, between people's computers um, by passing messages basically um, in different ways. That's what the research is about really and the improvements. So I think it is inevitable. We're all using internet. We all have internet in our pockets these days and it's well connected that way now. I think it applies to all education. I, I can't see any education where it doesn't work. Of course you have to have internet, you have to have computers, um, so that uh, restricts some places in the world, which, you know, many places in the world don't have those basic things, but uh, that's changing, so. I, I want to say this is an um, extremely beautiful campus and uh, that the, um, the city also is a beautiful city and um, I haven't seen too much of it yet because I've been busy in the conference just talking with some great people, but I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of the city and, and I'll be back next year in Madrid.